the Conquer um, originally started with a tree house for my children and um, they wanted a, something like a shed in our trees and there was no way I was going to build a shed. So we decided that we were going to, between us, that we were going to build a ball or a sphere. We all think about, you know, ways of saving energy um, and uh, saving energy isn't easy and, and therefore I wanted to look at what was out there in terms of passive buildings and things which were able to stand above the ground rather than on the ground um, because it allows us, the conquer allows us to put enough insulation all the way around it to minimize energy usage inside the conquer to between 500 to 750 watts. So we could run it on solar panels. This is really quite a pipe dream. The idea was that as a young person or a young couple, you buy two conkers together and uh, then you have a child, then you order another room so you can latch another conker to your, the two that you've got. And then you get another child and you can get another one and latch it around the, uh, the house. And just imagine when the uh, kids leave home you could end up with the child taking their shell with them to start their own home. Uh, we've got one on top of a mountain in Wales um, and um, through the, it's been there for three years which is uh, our first ever conquer and uh, it's still standing there proud in all the storms and everything else. The conquer's um, main attribute to all of those things uh, storm related is that they're aerodynamic. They will still be there after the storm. One of the incredible things about the Ideal Home Show is its commitment to uh, inspiration and also since its very beginning it's always been about this concept of the house of the future. So we've got these conquer pods, you know, we've got these, these you know, spheres for living in. Um, and I think it's a wonderful thing for people to see. I think people are very excited by that idea. Um, my advice to anyone living in a, um, a spherical conquer pod, um, don't try and build it on the side of a steep hill. Uh, you'll find that you know when you wake up in the morning you're actually right down at the bottom.